planning and policy dialogue help to ensure future fitness in technical vocational education and training. So basically, um, I'm going to present the BUILD project that Friedrich Hübler has already mentioned, Bridging Innovation and Learning in TVET, and uh, try to relate it to the overall topic of today's session, which is TVET in the area of transition, or in the era of transition. Um, I'm Luca Jelic, a project manager at BIBB, and BIBB is one of the institutions that is involved in the BUILD project, together with our colleagues from UNESCO Univoc. In terms of target groups, when we ask ourselves the questions, who are we trying to reach out to with the BUILD project, um, that is all stakeholders in TVET on different levels, so um, it's policy makers in ministries and national bodies, it's uh, labor market partners, TVET providers and TVET researchers. Now, I hope that with this device I can go on in the presentation. Yeah, correct, okay. So, um, the BUILD project uh, mainly focuses on uh, three regions. I will uh, try to make this one quick because uh, Friedrich Hübler has already mentioned that we are operating in Europe, Africa, and Asia and the Pacific. And um, it has three main goals, that is A, to foster and to strengthen collaboration between these regions, that is the bridging part. Uh, second goal is to foster and promote innovation and knowledge generation. And lastly, the project is about sharing experiences and um, mutual learning, so learning from one another and um, from one another's um, experiences. Now, um, what does it have to do with the topic of today's session? Um, the BUILD project is, um, has an overall thematic area and that is new qualification and competencies. So the guiding questions for the BUILD project are how do we identify these new qualifications and competencies? How do we integrate them in school curricula, and how do we implement that at the level of, um, well, where learning takes place? So be it vet schools or um, in-company learning, for example. Um, it focuses on four, well, main areas. Um, you can see that they uh, reflect basically the big global challenges and trends that we see. So it's migration, digitalization, entrepreneurship, and greening. Um, needless to say, the main focus currently lies on the so-called dual transition of digitalization and greening. Um, what you can see here, and you don't have to go through every uh, single statement, is basically how BUILD is embedded in relevant policy frameworks from um, the region in which from the regions in which the project operates. So, of course, we align closely with, uh, for example, the UNESCO TVET strategy. We look at um, EU Council recommendations. We take into account strategies from the African Union and um, from Asia as well. So here you can see basically how we try to foster this policy dialogue that um, I mentioned earlier. If we start looking at um, the BUILD project and how it is put into action, um, you will see that it comes with um, several products. I will not go into the details of um, every one of them, but I would like to highlight a couple of them. For example, the so-called peer learning wheel. Um, this is a really, really interesting tool because it's basically a database of um, UNESCO Univox centers that operates in either um, identification or integration or implementation of skills in the areas that we have mentioned before. So, for example, if you come from a TVET institution that is inter interested in, I don't know, um, implementing a green curriculum for the hospitality sector. So what you could do then is um, go to the peer learning wheel, filter for a uh, filter for this area and find institutions that have already worked in that area um, get in touch with them 
and um, start exchanging. Um, another, well, top-notch product, I would say, are uh, the so-called bridging conferences. The bridging conferences take place uh, twice per year, so it's once every six months, and uh, once every two years, there's the big built global learning forum that um, functions similarly, just a bit bigger. Um, you can imagine them as a well, community meeting, so the uh, Univox centers that are engaged in um, build, or some of them come together uh, for a couple, a couple of days. There are um, talks, presentations, round tables, um, expert group meetings, and um, as a matter of fact, the next big um, build uh, learning forum will take place next week, so I will um, come to that later on, just in case you want to register for it. Um, I can show you how to do it. Another key cornerstone of um, the build project are the so-called expert groups. And the expert groups are groups of people, um, experts from uh, the various regions and, um, well, international, um, international associations, basically. And what they do is to meet throughout one year on a specific relevant topic. So uh, for the last year, we had an expert group on um, the effect of greening on TVET in the hospitality and tourism sector. And uh, the next expert group is due to start soon. They are going to work on TVET, um, TVET matters for the construction and the building sector. Okay, now quickly two more, um, two more build products that I would like to highlight. Um, one is the, um, the build learning labs. I don't know whether you've um, heard of them, but basically they are a series of webinars where one specific innovative learning practice is, um, well, explored more thoroughly. So um, it is basically a direct exchange with the implementers of that TVET practice. There's um, presentations, question and answer sessions, and discussions for that. Um, the next learning lab uh, will take place next week, actually, in the context of the, um, the next Build Learning Forum. So um, if you want to register, and um, if that is an interesting topic for you, it's about micro-credentials in um, tourism training. It's an example from Australia. Um, feel free to um, check out the, the website of the Build Learning Forum and register for the um, Live Learning Lab. And yeah, last but not least, I would like to point out the um, so-called Build Innovation and Learning Practices. Basically, um, it is a database of case studies of innovative learning practices um, from, different, um, from different countries, different Univox centers. They are presented in a way that um, they focus on transferability and learning. So it's about uh, what were the key lessons learned for the implementers. And you can ask yourself the question, okay, um, how could I transfer the, um, the outcome and the learning to my own context? So they are actually dedicated to, um, to transferability and to learning. You will see that there is always uh, one fraction of the documents that is dedicated to, um, to that. Sometimes it's just like PDF case studies and um, sometimes it's also uh, videos and accompanying um, material. Now, Last but not least, quickly, if you are interested in what is going on in TVET around the globe, you might also want to check out the Build Atlas of Emerging Trends in TVET. Uh, basically, a, it consists of um, articles, short case studies. You can filter for the different regions and them thematic areas, and you can get like the latest updates of emerging trends in, um, in these respective regions. Um, you can consider it a living resource, so it's basically constantly updated. There's always new things and new content um, coming up, so our build colleagues are putting a lot of effort and um, some great work into that as well. And now to, uh, well, to make it a wrap, uh, I have not one, but uh, lastly two calls of action for you as uh, members of different Univox centers. A is uh, 
If you have not registered for the uh, Build Learning Forum next week, uh, as I said, it's a three days on-site conference in Bonn. Uh, you can uh, just like scan the QR code probably from the printout that we've, um, you've received. Uh, check out the event website. Feel free to join into um, any session that you would uh, like to join into. Um, our colleagues will be happy for your uh, happy about your participation. And second of all, if you are from a Univox center that is already active in the build network and the build project and that already participates, um, that's great. Uh, keep up the great work, continue doing so. If uh, you are from a Univox center that maybe it does, has not found the, the time yet or wasn't aware of the build project and would like to get engaged, I strongly urge you to do so. Um, start sharing, start learning from one another, participate in the, um, in the build project. It's um, a great initiative and I'm not saying this because the uh, head of UNESCO Univoc is sitting there or um, because my colleagues from Germany are now uh, watching the live streaming and live broadcasting of this session. I'm, I'm saying this because I'm actually convinced that um, peer learning and exchange is highly relevant for the future fitness of TVET. And with this, uh, I would like to close. Uh, if you have questions later on, maybe feel free to talk to me, uh, reach out to our build colleagues, and um, thank you very much for your 